class. This is your instructor, Skylar Huff, again. It's good to be back. So you all have finally made it to your last of six modules. So in this module, you will be learning about how the animal body works and, of course, how the animal body moves. So it'll be a lot of, I guess you say, animal body anatomy. And in this 23rd chapter of your book, it will be, I think, pretty straightforward having gone through the rest of the chapters you've learned through. So here, you will complete the course. As soon as you get to this sixth and final module, just make sure you do your terms, as well as those questions that follow the terms, and get this uploaded to, Can to Canvas by way of Turnin.com. This module will be due in its entirety on the 29th day of April. So you have about six days, and make sure you do duly note that that will be Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So I'll go backwards just a bit because I forgot to mention that there is no lab in this module. I'll repeat, this being the last module, there is no lab. In lieu of a lab, what I do have for you all is a genetic disorder presentation that you all will complete. So please make sure you have visited the genetic disorder presentation rubric, or at least the grading sheet, to make sure you know on what grounds you all will be graded and what is expected. This, too, will be due on the 29th of April, and I will say that, that there is one caveat. Not the entire module is due on the 29th. I kind of misspoken earlier. So to go back on the misspeaking of Huff, I'll say it this way. The module is due in its entirety, excluding your final exam. So your final exam will open up on May 2nd, and it will close May 4th at 11.59 p.m. So going back to where I was with us not having lab this week, but having a, a genetic disorder presentation due, make sure that you have, at the very least, no more than, I guess I'll say, 12 slides, and that does include your title slide and reference slide. The title slide is worth five points, and of course, five points will be taken off if you have more than 12 slides total, within which you should have content. The content is worth a total of 70 points. The 70 points will come from the history of the disorder, that being worth 15 points, you describing your disorder, again worth 15 points, and thereafter being the cause the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention, and each of which of those worth 10 points each. To end things, there should be some visual aids making the presentation look good, good to the eye, and of course that's worth 5 points, along with 5 points being allotted to grammar, spelling, and neatness indeed. That gives you all a total of 90 points being worth on that genetic sort of presentation. So you will turn that in on the 29th day, or at least, I'm sorry, before the 29th of April, at 11.59 p.m. by way of canvas at turnin.com. So what I'm getting to is you should save your file as a PDF. It should be a PDF. It's pretty, I would say, something that I can show you how to do if you don't know how to do. But make sure you export that file and turn it in at canvas by way of turnin.com as a PDF. Just make sure that you're not copying and pasting because, of course, it'll be shown that you did not type that information. And then thereafter, I'll mention yet again, your final exam. So the final exam is on going to be on the, the things learned throughout this, I said this semester, almost at this year, and it will be a total of 200 points. You have two hours to take this exam, and I'll say it this way. You will use the Respondus Lockdown Browser as typical. I'll just say make sure that your computer is charged, and hopefully you have recharged your computer, or at least ensuring that it will not crash during the exam. And you can start from May 2nd, and just make sure that it is complete in its entirety by the 4th of May at 11.59 p.m. I have enjoyed having you all this semester. You all have done quite well in the course I have I've been able to see. And if ever there is a question or you need assistance before the test or even after the test, after the class has ended, never hesitate to email or call me. And the last thing I'll say is thank you all. You all have made this, this teaching a joy. So this is the last, last video you'll see of me, at least, of course, unless you take another class with me. Enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, and of course, thank you for choosing Coastal Alabama Community College.